Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 8 of our Kwaipu video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about working with different weighting mechanisms available in Kwaipu out of the box. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series and we saw there is no weight statement available anywhere in our course so far we have discussed. And the reason is Kwaipu by itself maintains some of the weighting mechanism out of the box. And if you want to specify some of the think time, maybe the wait time to be specified in your execution, then you can do here in the session configuration class. So how to do that? For that, I'm going to copy or grab some of the code which is already available. Maybe just few code until the login. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it right here so that I can make sure that I make use of some of the existing code without retyping the same code again and again. And let's give a name here, maybe weight mechanisms. And here within the session configuration class, you can see there are different kinds of property like browsers and app host. And of course, there is one more property, retry interval or timeout. So these are the different kinds of weighting mechanism which is available within your Kwaipu. So if you say the timeout is equal to the seconds, then it will keep on waiting for that particular timeout period. And the default is one second as you can see here. And when retrying how long to wait for an element to appear or the action to complete without an error, that's what it is saying. So if you specify both the retry as well as the timeout period here, then Kwaipu will be waiting for that particular period of time, right? That's the one thing which you can do in your session configuration class. And the another way of waiting for each and every control, maybe a waiting statement for a specific control. Let's say you feel that the click button is going to take some time or maybe uh, the appearance of the click button is going to take some time due to some Ajax operation is going to happen behind, behind the scenes of your application. Then you can specify the wait statement only for this click button method. And how you can do this, you can do using many different ways. Or uh, the best way is to see if you have a options class available. So here you can see there is a locator and there is an options class. So what is this options class is all about? And you can see that this options is the overriding the way the Kwaipu is configured to find an element for this call only. So it is specific for only this particular call. So if you override this particular call, maybe if you increase the timeout period, then it will override the timeout that you specified in the session configuration class. And as I again said, this is only for this specific control. So just call a options class and here just open a braces and you can see there is something called timeout, consider invisible elements, matches, retry interval, text precisions, wait before click and these are the different methods which is available. So you can also specify wait before click as a period of time. Maybe it's a time span so we're going to use the time span dot and you can specify from milliseconds like how long you want to wait and you can specify from milliseconds of maybe 0 0.5 right and you can specify this only for this particular control itself meaning this waiting time is only applicable for the click button but if you specify a time period in the session configurations class as a property then it is applicable for the whole test right so this is the best way of doing and you can ask me where is this option class available is it only applicable for the click button or is it only available in the click button of course not you can see it is available in all the different clients of methods like fill in and it is available in the visits and also any buttons or any method you take there is an option called options uh, options as a parameter and you can also have different kinds of options like options dot uh, I think we already discussed about it options dot substring so there is one more option like this so you can do that as well right so this options for waiting is very very handy while working with your application so these are the different kinds of wait mechanism available in Kwaipu out of the box 
And thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.